Aspergillus flavus is the second most common fungal species to be identified in human infection, besides Aspergillus fumigatus. In nature, it is usually found growing in soil, dead plants and animals. Initially, its colonies appear yellow-green in color, but with time, they turn to darker green. The texture is wool or cotton-like and sometimes granular. Aspergillus flavus is allergenic and is a known pathogen of plants, humans and animals. The fungus can infect seeds of corn, peanuts, cotton and nut trees, both pre- and post-harvest. Aspergillus flavus produces several mycotoxins, primarily aflatoxin B1 and B2, which causes acute liver damage, cirrhosis and are known for their immunosuppressive and carcinogenic effects. This mold can grow at an incredibly wide range of temperature and pH values. The most common place to find Aspergillus flavus is on carpets. Microscopic spores, known as conidia, are ever-present in the air around us. Most of the time there is no need for alarm, but if these spores happen to land in an environment that suits them well, they rapidly develop into visible mold. The fungus can also enter the house through plants harvested on the farm. It could even be in your food. In human beings, Aspergillus flavus spores cause aspergillosis. This is an infection that mainly attacks the respiratory system but can also affect the eyes and ear canals. Preventing this pathogenic fungus from growing in our homes is an impossible task. The conditions that humans require for living overlap with those required by the mold. Removing the fungus is the best next option to take, and the best you can do is to call mold busters. Do you want to become an expert in identifying mold in your home? Visit bossmold.com and subscribe to our channel.